You ever been at a cocktail party and don't know what to say? That awkward silence? Bring up moles. Everybody has a story about a mole, how to murder a mole, how their neighbor got rid of the mole, the crazy things they do. There's all kinds of things that people talk about, ground up glass, human hair, x lax uh, Red Lewis lie, all this crazy stuff about moles. And there's a couple things that really work well. First of all, with a mole, you have to establish where is the mole run. So if you, if you, an active mole run, I should say. So if you push that down, you'll see a little flower there I've marked with. You mark with a little bit of flower. You wait 24 hours. If that's been pushed back up, now you know we have an active run because moles a lot of times will do a secondary run that they don't go back to. So once you establish an active run, now the old fashioned way, you get yourself some broom straws and you put broom straws down along as you can kind of see them there and then you get yourself a pitchfork and you wait. You're waiting for them to move. That's what you're doing. Ooh, maybe a little lemonade. And then when they move, you strike. All right, now I know what you're saying. Maybe you don't have that much time. So there are a couple things that are pretty effective. Probably the first thing these, uh, this is a talprid worm. This is a brand is Tomcat. They look like a little gummy worm. It's a poison worm that you put down in the, in the run. You can take a uh, doll rod and just make a little hole along the run every four or five feet, and you just drop the worms in there. And then, uh, you know, three, four days, start pressing the runs down again, and then you'll find out if the activity has stopped, then you know you got them. If you want, if you're after, after the evidence, get a trap. Now with a trap, you have to scoop up the soil and make it real soft around there because these, these get hung up in our heavy clay. So once you set it there, you can put a little flag by it, make sure everybody knows what you're doing, and then you'll wait. If it doesn't go off in 24 to 48 hours, then you move it and you start over. Some people don't like the traps, they're hard to set, and there's other types of traps, certainly. There's scissor traps and different things, but that's probably the best thing. In times of hot weather, sprinklers and what a sprinkler does is when you water that area it brings up the insects the worms into the mole run and that's what a mole is doing is running up and down looking for insects that have dropped into the tunnel so very effective the things that aren't effective poison peanuts they don't work for moles they don't work for chipmunks these are smoke bombs these are a lot of fun because you can put them in and your whole yard will light up you'll find out where the mole runs are because the whole thing is smoking you might even see a mole that goes <coughs> Uh, this right here, I'm embarrassed to say that we sell these. This is a sonic spike. And what it's supposed to do, is supposed to make a vibration, keeps the moles out. My brother-in-law says they work. And I said, well, John, did you have moles before? He goes, no, but I haven't had them since I put that up there. So I'm not really sure that's a great test for that. So I would say the talprid worms or trap, go get those moles.